be the glory great things he has done we give him praise for his mighty acts for all that he has done this week he has been great to me and i know he has been great to you because we serve an awesome god he is wonderful i pray that your week was great and that you put god first in everything and that you are you're blessed you're having a great time with your family and just having a great time and enjoying the moment today our lesson today is god wants us to share the good news about jesus god wants us to share the good news about jesus and our lesson is taken from second peter 3 verse 18 it says but grow in the grace and the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ to him be glory both now and forever and I'll read that again. 2 Peter 3 verse 18 says, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be both glory now and forever. And our lesson today is about, the story came from the book of Acts in the Bible. And it's a story about a man we've been learning about. And um, it's the story is about Saul who decided to follow God. He traveled many different cities telling people there was chief about Jesus. Saul also used a different name. His new friends call him Paul. His new friends call him Paul. Paul wanted everyone to know that he had changed and he was a new follower of Jesus. Paul and his friends Barnabas loved telling people about Jesus, about Jesus who came to be our savior. So they went to the church in the city of Antioch to help the people there to learn more about Jesus. The church in Antioch was a growing church. The church members cared for each other, told about Jesus to each other, and they loved spreading the word about Jesus. So in fact, Antioch was the first place that Jesus' followers were called Christians. I'll say that again. Antioch was the first place that Jesus followers were called Christians. They prayed, they worshiped, and they even sent money with money to other churches that were in need. Just like us today, you know, where you see pastor and you see the, 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 the sister Florence and a few other people, you see them packing a the bar to send to Jamaica, even African, just to help out those that are in need. And that's what they were doing here. They worship and they love God and they love helping people. They love to give. One day when the leaders at the Antioch church were worshiping, something amazing happened. Something amazing happened. Imagine you worshiping and playing the tambourine and, you know, and, and, and while the church leaders were worshiping, God spoke to them and told them to set apart. Set them apart. It's like a big crowd, right? And... The Lord says, set apart, meaning call out these two people, these two people, Barnabas and Paul, for a special job. For a special job, right? So let's have these two people, Barnabas and Paul, and then they gently lead them to the middle of the circle. So it's a crowd of people, and the Lord just spoke and call out these two people put them in the middle of the circle then the church leaders prayed and put their hands on Paul and Barnabas and showed their blessing to show that they were obeying God they were obeying God they love God and you see when you put God's first he pulls you out from out of that crowd and he he calls you out to do a special job or he might just bless you with something awesome you see God he worked in mysterious mysterious ways. That's why it's good to worship him while they are home, whether you're in your car, because he sees these things. When you put him first, he will bless you abundantly. Amen? So then the church leaders prayed and put their hands on Paul and Barnabas and showed their blessing that they were obeying God. Let's touch our Paul and Barnabas and give them a blessing. That's what they did. So Paul and Barnabas said goodbye to their good friends and they boarded a ship they boarded a ship. Paul and Barnabas sailed to the city of Salamis on the island of Cyprus. And they were told, they told everyone the good news that Jesus loved them and died for them. This was the beginning of an exciting and adventure full of fun and an awesome adventure. Just going around spreading the good news about Jesus. 
and kids that's what God wants us to do you know we go to school let's not take it for granted yes you're there for learning and it's okay to tell somebody yes I'm saved and you know tell them about Christ you know invite them to church tell them what happened at church on that Sunday you know give them a word of encouragement bring them in to know that there's a God and he died for us and he, he he's there to heal he's there to deliver he's there to comfort he's there to bring you out of your troubles he's here to bless and you know these are the things that people want to hear people should know that we serve a God who is awesome and he is mighty and there's none like him there's none like him so who called Bar Paul and Barnabas in the story who called Paul and Barnabas is it sister Judy is it Brother Gary? Is it Sister Florence? Is it Sister Benita? No, it was God. It was God who called both of them. And what did God want them to do? God had a special job, and that job was to tell people about Jesus. Going around as missionaries, telling people about Jesus. And what did what did the church leaders do for Paul and Barnabas? Hmm. What did they do for Paul and Barnabas? Did you just tell them to just just leave? No. Did he tell them, did they tell them just to go to the altar and pray? No. What they did, they prayed for them. They put their hands on them and they sent them away. They gave them a blessing, you know, and they sent them away to tell the gospel and to minister to others about Christ. So Paul and Barnabas went away to tell people in different countries about Jesus and kids that's what God wants us to do you know let's discover that God has a special gift for each of us we all have a special gift but we have to seek God and fast and pray and talk to him God wants us to talk to him and tell him how we're feeling and what we want you know God wants to hear us and remember God is a jealous God he loves our attention he loves our, our attention. So let's spend time, you know, worshiping God and just asking him, discover what your gifts are and realize that we can share the good news about Jesus and learn that missionaries tell people about Jesus and identify people that they can tell about Jesus. So kids, let's not sit on our gifts, but let's venture out and pray and ask God, God, what, what are, what are my gifts? What do you want me to do? How can I do this? And God would lead you in the right direction. He will tell you what to do. He will give you guidance. God, kids, God work in mysterious ways. When you least expect it, that when you'll, that's when you'll hear God telling you, this is what I want you to do. Sometimes God wants us to separate from our friends just to see what our gifts are or to put the, the, the remote control down and spend two minutes talking to him just to figure out what our gifts are. Or to put that food down just for, uh, you know, maybe a couple of hours and fast and give him thanks for all that he has done. All right, so let's remember that God put us on this earth for a reason. We all have a gift. So let's just pray and ask God and seek him and say, God, what are my gifts? And he will lead us in the right direction. But in the meantime, let us tell each other about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done and the miracles that took place in, 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 when, when God raised the, the, this, when God healed the sick and he raised the dead. Those are awesome miracles. And he, he, he helped that man that was blind to see again. You know, he was born blind. And, and what God did was amazing. Even people were just so in disbelief. They didn't believe that God healed him and let him be able to see again. You know, so ask God and pray and ask God, what are your gifts? And he will show you, he will direct you, and he will lead you in the right direction. Amen. Let's pray. Father, I thank you and I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you praise. Thank you, oh God, that you've given us a mind to worship you and to give you thanks for all that you have done. You are amazing. You are wonderful. You look beyond our faults, oh God, and you see our needs. You make ways out of no ways for us, oh God, when we least expect it, oh God, and I thank you. 
Touch us, O oh God. Touch our mind, O oh God. Teach us your way, O oh God, and lead us in the right path. Show us what our gifts are. Show us how to minister to others. Help us to read our word uh, uh, every night so we can minister to others and we know the Bible for ourselves so we can, O oh God, be, be, be a blessing to others, O oh God. Lord, help us to, to know that, God, you, you're a jealous God and you want to hear our voice. You love to hear us when we pray. You love to hear us when we worship, when we sing a song of praise unto your name. So, Lord, let not what we do for you go in vain, but, Lord, help us to continue to seek your face so, God, you can show us what it is that you want us to do, O oh God. God, I thank you. Bless each every household, oh God. Touch every child and every parent, oh God, that's watching it, God. And give them strength, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on a daily basis, basis, oh God, to give you thanks at all times and to continue to worship you, oh God, comes what may, oh God. Bless us and keep us, oh God. Keep us in good health and keep our minds stayed on you, oh God, because you are worthy. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed day, kids. And remember... Ask God what your gifts are, and he will tell you what, what that is. He will lead you in the right direction, but never cease to praise him. Never cease to, to, to worship him at all times and to read his word. You have a blessed day.